Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode I'm going to show you how you can define what the settings of your filament are if you don't know what kind of filament you're having. So for example I have some filament here and uh, well this was a sample that was given to me and I really don't know what kind of filament this is. It can be PLA, uh, PLA it can be uh, engine, it can be uh, PET uh, G maybe uh, or even uh, it can be ABS. Well, the first thing you can do is try if you can find yeah, some, some uh, things you can, can see what kind of filament it is. So for example if I bend this, now it breaks. And this tells me that it's most probably uh, a stiff kind of filament. So I think, well it, it could be PLA for example now. So this is the first thing I'm looking at, but now I want to know what is the melting point and do I have to heat my bed or not. So I want to know how to use this filament here in my printer. And to do so I'm going to do very, yeah, something very simple. I'm going to open up my printer and uh, on top of the printer here, well, I dropped my filament, here on top of my printer um, there is this PTFE guidance tube and this tube goes into my hot end and after I removed the previous filament I used I can loosen this PTFE tube so now there is an opening in, in the top side of the, the carriage where uh, I can put in my filament without any PTFE tube so now I can manually feed it into the, the hot end and this way uh, I can start pressing in the filament and see when it's going through the nozzle so now when I heat up my nozzle and I take a look at the temperatures on the display then I can see what the melting point is of this filament so we're going to do that right now but first of course I'm going to cut an angle on this filament, so now it's cut in an angle and I'm going to the load filament settings and now for the nozzle temperature I'm going to say I want it to have uh, 200 and well let's say 235 degrees I press OK and uh, now I go to apply settings and it's going to heat them up the nozzle. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to manually feed in this filament into the nozzle or into the carriage and then it comes into the nozzle and uh, I'm going to take a look at my display to see what temperature I'm working with. So now it's loading, it's at 79, well uh, I'm sure it won't melt uh, uh, anywhere under uh, I think 140 degrees but I want to know what the correct melting temperature is and where it's oozing out of the nozzle very nice so that's the point I have to find so I can wait until I see it's at 140 degrees and it takes a little while so now it's almost there and then I can apply a little bit of force on the filament and see when it will when it will sink into the nozzle so just applying a little force and now I don't have to watch my display because there is nothing happening and the moment it starts yeah, loading into the nozzle and, and I can feel that I can push it downwards this is the moment where I want to look at my display and want to see what temperature setting it's at so We'll see here it's now at 180 degrees, 185, 190, and now I can feel at 190, I can feel it's going down. And 195, 196, 200. Now at 200 I can feel I can push it down at the same speed my motor does. So now I know enough. I just know that at 200 degrees Celsius this filament is nicely extruding so I can check it out again and here I have it I now know that my melting point is 200 degrees Celsius 
So what I'm going to do next is try if this filament will fit on uh, on the, the build plate of my printer without any further heating. So now I'm going to turn off my printer, turn it on again, and now the printer is restarting. So now I'm not heating up the, the extruder anymore without uh, any filament in it so it, it reset itself and uh, now I'm going to set the settings for my cartridge so load filament apply settings oh now I'm too early I we made a mistake sorry I'm going to do that again So two utilities, change cartridge, load, and now I know that my nozzle can be at 200 degrees. Because this is a nice melting point for this filament. Then the heat bed, well, I actually don't know what kind of filament it is, but I know it has very low melting point, so I'm almost sure already it's PLA. So, I think I turned my bed already on, on 50 degrees Celsius, everything is set, so now I go to apply settings. And what I'm doing now, is again I'm going to cut this under an angle, but this time I'm going to feed it in from the back side, through the PTFE tube, all the way until it comes just like this out of my PTFE tube and now I'm going to push it inside my carriage all the way until the PTFE tube snaps into its snap fitting and the motor stops feeding the filament because then it knows it's in the, in the cartridge there so now I have to wait until the nozzle is heated up enough and then my Bowens extruder is going to feed it all the way through the PTFE tube into the carriage and into the hot end. And then I know for sure that this filament is fed at the right melting point. Of course it's not the settings here on the display that you enter that are going to, uh, to be the melting point where you're going to work at. Because when you're working then in your slicer you define the settings. So when you're in your slicer, now you know that the melting point for this filament is 200, 200 degrees Celsius. And now you can play around this temperature uh, when you're going to work with this filament. So this is how it, it happens. Uh, this is how I defined what kind of filament it is. This is a PLA filament, I now know for sure. And uh, well, I'm going to see what this filament does if I print a frog, a tree frog. So, as you can see, this is a great way of determining what kind of filament you have. Most of the times you probably know what kind of filament it is, 
but you're not quite certain if it's the right one. So, for example, I knew this was or PLA or ABS. And as I can see, my melting point uh, is very good at 200 degrees, so it must be the PLA. Uh, also, this one melted at 220 degrees. And then I know this is the ABS, because I have yellow in ABS and I have yellow in PLA, so it must be the ABS then. Sometimes you can't determine what kind of filament it is uh, just by having the melting temperature. But even if you don't know what kind of filament it is, then you can print with it. And you have only to find out if it sticks on your build plate. So as you saw, uh, the tree frog came out beautiful. It really worked out well. And uh, I now know for sure that this was a PLA filament. This is a great way of finding out what the settings are for a filament if you don't know it. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up. Also if you're not subscribed to my channel already please subscribe to my channel because I really need the subscribers so please press that button and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, if you really love this channel and you want to support me uh, if you're a company and you have t-shirts well my t-shirt size is triple XL or sometimes double XL, whether it's if it's a big one or a small one. And uh, well, you can support me in the link down below, and then you can pay me a cold drink or something like that. But that's only if you really like this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye, and until next week when there is a new 3D print creator video. Bye bye.